End of watch, short movie review. Mike and Brian are cocky young cops in South Central Los Angeles, one of the most crime-ridden areas in the world, I suppose. And they, we follow them as they answer the various calls, going to different houses and handling different situations, and many of these have very surprising outcomes. There aren't really twists, and there isn't much of a story here, but yeah, it's, it's going to surprise you. You're not going to see everything coming. And one day, they answer a call that they will wish they hadn't, and they become targeted, and that's all I'm going to give away. David Iyer really understands South Central Los Angeles and the subculture, the, the crime, and when he writes and directs a movie about the area, the slang, the dialogue, the characters, the music, the entire environment feels very real because of him having spent some of his youth there. And this is no exception. This is the third movie he's directed about, directed at all, all of them about South Central Los Angeles, Harsh Times, Street Kings, and this. And while I'm not sure it's my favorite of the three, it is up to his standard. This, unlike the others, is a POV film, and it's not going to win over anyone who doesn't already like or at least tolerate POV films. It has a somewhat lame explanation for it. Basically, Brian is taking film classes in college, and so he films everything. And there are numerous shots which is clear which are clearly not filmed by any of the characters. And when we get scenes with our stock bad guys, they're filming one of them is filming the the bad guys as well, so that we can justify having these scenes. And I'm not sure it's ever explained why they're filming that. This is a very fast-paced movie, it, the, it's about a hundred minutes, not counting the end credits, and it just flies by. It, a lot happens, and it, it never really slows down, and it's a very, very tense movie. It's basically a ride-along with the two cops, and you feel like anything could happen to them. It, it's clearly a very dangerous job, and the film exudes a lot of love and respect for the the job of being a policeman, especially in such a dangerous area. There's enormous chemistry between the two leads, Jake Gyllenhaal and Michael Pena, and it's very much a character-driven movie. The story pretty much stays in the background, and we really get to love these two cops and their their better halves, and we really get to worry that something is going to happen to them. It is a very unpleasant film, it gets very, very nasty at times, and it's definitely, if, if at all you're wondering if it's going to be too much for you, just don't watch it, because it probably is. And that about covers it. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, check below, it's there as a video response. If not, it'll be in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.